Hello one and all, and welcome to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, and today is not a mod map gameplay, this is actually how to install side mods. I already have one installed, well, I have one downloaded already, but I'll, once again I'll just go through the steps. Open your Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome, whatever you use, and once again if you want to go on Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods and maps or just type in Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods. Uh, in Google, that's fine. Uh, what you want to do is go to the battlefront.battlefront.com website. It sees that there's some new mods here. Alright, so... I see there's a Shock Trooper side mod, but save that for later. Alright, so we'll just go to Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods. Oh crap. <laughs> Why does it always do that to me? Sorry about that. Back to Star Wars Battlefront.battlefront.com. I always get those pop-ups and you want to go to your just mods Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods you can do mini mods or whatever but you don't have to click on that see you got your like legion mods and all that so we'll just click on 78th legion mod oh okay invalid file whatever it's probably there's pro it's probably a valid file I just gotta find the file that's valid alright so next what you want to do we'll just say I'm not really gonna download this I'm just going to say, just go download 45th Legion, and then click download now. Download now, then it's going to tell you your open and save, or view the downloads uh, tab. What would you like to do with the file? See, it, it automatically downloads for me, but I'm really not going to use it. So, after that's all, all set and done, you want to open that file up and all that. After you're done opening that file, you'll get these two folders. Well, usually, you get your rep and rep shell .lvl files. Now, you want to drag those two out. Just leave them there for now. I can X that out. And what you want to do next is go to your C drive or whatever drive you use. You could be using a different one. You never know. Program file 86, LucasArts. Star Wars Battlefront 2, Game Data, Data, Level PC, and you want to go to your side folder here. And then you have your rep.lvl here and your rep shell.lvl. You could just drag these two in and replace the files, but that's permanent. You can't get your original files back. So what I suggest you do is remove the rep and the rep shell.lvl files and put them in a, another folder. I'll just put them in that mod folder I have. I've got a bunch of them. Now I can just drag these two in here. I'll move them to my side folder. There you go. All done with that. And sorry if you hear something in the background. It might be one of those... What's it called? Oh yeah, see, it's one of those stupid things. I'll just X this out. Yes, exit Chrome. And now what you want to do is you want to launch up your Star Wars Battlefront 2. And you should have your side mod, but first let me just pause this video here and go to the game. Alright, so here we are in Battlefront 2 game. Now you want to go single player, instant action, and go to one of your regular maps. Whether it be Corazon, Dagobah, Jabba's Palace, whatever, Naboo. I guess we'll just do Naboo as an example. So, you want to do your Conquest and then Clone Wars and you want to launch the map up and as you see it's just one of those regular maps it's going to have the sides mod with it I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure this is compatible with online as well there's a lot of online compatible maps and see the CIS as you see no new units but the Repu but you see the Republic all new units well not really new units they're just repaints but they're still really good repaints so they look pretty decent so, um, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did not, then I guess you can contact me 
and I will try and help you myself. So that's about it. Farewell.